ETF inflow, uh, massive from yesterday. 431 million for BlackRock, everyone else, decent amount. Uh, overall, almost $600 million inflow yesterday, which is a large amount. Again, some of you guys may be getting bored and saying, well, Bitcoin is not going up anymore. It's 100,000, why are we not going up? Remember the days when I told you about ETFs, okay? And the inflows and the supply shock, it's go add up. Um, the days when we were at 60,000 and people were complaining, oh, you know, Bitcoin's not going up. ETFs are not doing anything. Oh no, they are, right? Right now it's the same thing. Look at the days, look at all these days, hundreds of millions going to the ETFs, don't be fooled that the price is not going up right now. We are definitely having a supply shock, okay? And when the price is gonna move, it's gonna move in a big way. We're getting billions upon billions upon billions of Bitcoin being removed from circulation every single week. So it's happening. And, you know, Sailor likes to remind us that only 45 million is mined per day when billions are being removed basically per, per week. Not just the ETS, but also from, from purchases. Uh, Riot just completed a huge uh, offering, 525 million. They just purchased a whole bunch at an average price of 99,669 and and Mara did the same thing and of course Sailor has been doing the same thing and you know what it's just non-stop buying from here on out and you know the re the strategic reserve uh talk you know it's happening everywhere yesterday I talked about state Texas wants to do it now Japan, there's a, there's a parliament member, what's the name, Satoshi, Hamada. He's proposing it, that Japan should create a strategic Bitcoin reserve. Russia, including Putin. Putin has been saying some good stuff about Bitcoin. You, you, you got to think, he's looking at the U.S. Russia's thinking about creating a strategic reserve. You got to think China is looking at the U.S., looking at it too. They're probably creating a strategic reserve. I mean, come on. There's just not enough to go around, guys. You just have to put two and two together. You got to grab what you can, okay, before it becomes too expensive. And, of course, all this is going to lead to some crazy, crazy... prices in 2025 160 in 2025 that's uh, that's that's cakewalk we're gonna go a lot higher than 160 actually in the next two weeks we might come close to 160 okay considering what we did in november and this uh, and early december we may come really close to that 160 by the end of december right who knows where we will be uh, by the end of 2025. There are some crazy, crazy speculation numbers. But you know what? If we're following anything close, anything close to some of the previous cycles, let's say the 2017 cycle, which we're mimicking pretty, pretty closely, pretty closely from... Uh, you know, from a day's perspective, from even an angle perspective in terms of our, our, our movement. I mean, if we're mimicking that by the end of 2025, we're going to be ending up somewhere between $480,000 and $800,000. <laughs> and it sounds so far-fetched. It sounds like it's impossible, but just, just pay attention to, to what I've been saying. Pay attention to the landscape and how it's, so, it's going to be so different with a new type of SEC uh, leading the way in America next year. 
and look at the supply shock that's happening. Look at the countries, the top countries of the world, the G7 nations that will be implementing a strategic reserve of Bitcoin and they will be buying not just billions, possibly hundreds of billions to trillions dollars worth of Bitcoin next year. Is it really so far fetched to think that if those things happen, that Bitcoin could be at 500,000 next year? I don't think so. I don't think that's far fetched at all. If those things happen, we could go a lot higher than that. So just think about that. And of course, if those things happen and Bitcoin's leading the way, you know what's going to happen? Altcoin season. That's when true altcoin season is going to happen, right? As good as it has been for some alts, man, you better get ready because when true altcoin season happens, that's when things get real nutty. When I say you're going to feel dirty, uh, be prepared. You're going to have to take a shower every single hour because... When you check your portfolio, man, those alts are going to be going up 10, 15, 20% literally like every single day, nonstop. And here's the thing. If you're looking at this at a one week chart, you know what? We just formed the golden cross. And that usually is the start of all coin season. Um, so that's why we're seeing so many. So many do so well right now but of course we're led by a lot of great news right a lot of great things are happening for next year we're seeing a lot of partnerships a lot of things being built and today we have something else xrp getting involved with ai kaj or k-a-j labs uh is getting a hundred million or committing, I should say, $100 million to advance AI applications within the XRP ecosystem. We hear a lot about XRP being used for financial systems and also with the new Doge and uh, voting system, ID system, and you know they have a lot of partnerships. But now, um, XRP could be getting involved with AI as well. Right, XRP Ledger could really be getting involved with anything, um, smart contracts and, and anything above that. So that's pretty big. And XRP is moving today. You see that due to good news back to 245. So good for XRP. Uh, and of course, AI is a big, big thing, big topic for 2025.